Hi guys, Steve Woody here, Online Mastery, and today is Midday Mastery, episode 13. I mean, wow, talk about consistency, right? I've almost been going for two weeks, pretty amazing. But that's because I had a strategy, right? I knew what I wanted to do, I knew what my outcome was. My outcome was to add value in a way that people would like it, and the feedback's been amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching this, I, I really do appreciate it. Um, Rhett, how you doing, fella? I'm, I was watching your videos last night, Rhett. Absolutely love them, mate. You're such a character. I love you a bit, mate. Thanks for being here. Uh, and to everyone else, thanks for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. It, the reason I do this is to share and add value. And so the fact that you're sort of commenting and the fact that you're here and liking this. Kofi, good afternoon, mate. Thank you very much for joining in. Lara, hello. So, yeah, thanks for all, all for being here. Like The whole reason we're doing this is obviously to add value. So if you're getting that value, and I'm assuming you are from the comments, the likes, the shares, the, the messages, I, I'm really grateful. So, um, episode 13, and still talking about strategy today. And a bit, I want to go through this uh, for a specific reason. Because my strategy for doing this See, although I'm doing this for free, although I'm not getting paid for doing this, there is um, there is an outcome in mind. You know, I have a, like any strategy, when you look at strategy, you have an outcome and then you reverse engineer that outcome. Guy, hello. Chris Richards, hello, welcome. Good for joining us. So yeah, you have a strategy, which is an outcome. Um, well, you have an outcome, sorry, and then you reverse engineer that process to get to the outcome and that is your strategy. It's as simple as that. I mean, there's no point in overcomplicating this. So for me, my outcome for doing these Facebook Lives was I wanted to uh, increase my exposure. I wanted to get out to more people. I wanted to give great value that people would share and people would like and comment on. And so that would get me more exposure. And it's worked because my followers, just since I started doing this, this is the only form of outbound marketing that I'm doing at the moment. This is the only form of promotion that I'm doing at the moment. This is the only form of um, any, anything. I'm not doing a blog. I'm not doing anything else. I'm only doing this, and I'm just repurposing the content from this. And my Facebook subscribers, so like my followers, have gone from 700 to 1,000 in the last week. So that's over 300 extra followers on Facebook this week purely because of the consistency and because of the value that I've been adding and because I'm doing this. So that was my strategy, was to get me out there and so I'm monitoring it. I can see where I was. I was at 700. I'm now at 1,000. So, I mean, I'm not going to do the math, but you can say like the percentage increase, but that's an extra 300 followers that are now finding out about what I'm doing. So you need to know what your outcome is for any strategy that you've got. You need to know what your outcome is. And Look, I, there's a few things, like when I talk about strategy, it's not just about hustling. It's not just about going out there and saying, oh, I want to make money, I want to make money, I want to make money, I want to make money. Like, that is a strategy of mine. Robert, hello, how are you doing? Keith, thanks for joining. Um, making money is a strategy right now, but I have multiple strategies. There are multiple things that I'm doing. So because I want to make money, if I was only focused on making money, if that was my only goal, then I wouldn't be doing these Facebook Lives because this I'm not getting paid for. And if I wasn't doing... Turn the view on my phone. Ah, oh, sorry, guys. Let me just... Oh, oh, sec. Let me do that right. Hold on a sec. I've got to flip it because I forgot. There we go. How's that? Oh, button again. Technology, right? Sorry, guys. That's better. So, yeah, basically, don't worry about it, the backgrounds are just there, because there's a cupboard behind, look, I'm in my, in fact, let me give you guys a view, because you haven't actually seen this yet, I'm going to show you the office. So, this is, look, check this mirror out, how amazing is that mirror? It's a huge, huge mirror there. Um, I've still got some boxes that I haven't even finished unpacking yet. Um, but look, all I've got is, like, basically there's cupboards behind there, and so, rather than you seeing the cupboards, I thought you'd like to see that. Let's show you out the window so you can see. I'm in Greenwich. It's my new place. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and yeah, and there's all the computer desk and everything set up. So I'm, I'm not even moved in probably. Look, I've made a half-assed attempt at sound, um, soundproofing the walls. I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the stuff to turn up so that we can uh, get that all set up properly. So flip it. What's he? You meant flip the camera? What if I flip the camera, mate? Now, is, is that? You don't want to be looking at that. No, look, anyway, let's get on going. Time with you. Um, strategy. 
If I only had one strategy, if my strategy was only to make money, I wouldn't be doing these Facebook Lives. The reason I'm doing these Facebook Lives is one, because it's a way for me to connect with you and that's what I love more than anything. But another thing is because it's a way for me to get exposure out there. Now, as a result, I'm making sales off of this, just by doing this. Like literally, last night, there was a guy who, not friends from Facebook, didn't know, don't know him, never met him before. Oz, if you're watching this, thank you, brother, I really appreciate you. So this guy last night um, checked out, purchased like my bundle of all of my stuff, everything I've ever created. He went and bought it. Now, I'm not even selling or advertising it anywhere except on the back end of a webinar. So he'd gone through all of my webinars, like there's about three of them. At the end of the third webinar, he decided um, that he was going to purchase my, all of my bundles. So literally going to bed last night, checked my emails, all to come in. I was like, wow, that was really nice. Like, I enjoyed that. That come off the back of him watching a Facebook Live, then went and found a webinar link, then watched a webinar, then watched another webinar, then put... So can you see how this sort of... It does make me money, even though that's not the intention of this. The intention of this is... Like, the outcome of this is to grow my reach, but it does make money. So the reason I'm sharing that is so that you understand in your business, what's your strategy? Is your strategy to make money? Okay, so what's it doing to make money? Is your strategy to increase your awareness and to increase your brand visibility and increase your reach, great. Then that should, And you should have a measurable outcome. You should know what your outcome is. It should be measurable. You know, I know that on my Facebook Lives, I had 700 subscribers. I now know I've got 1,000. I know this works. So guess what? I'm going to continue to do it because people like it. You guys are saying that you want it. And you may be Polish, but you don't need to learn proper English. Like, even I don't know proper English, Robert. Um, but yeah, if you want to build authority, right, that's definitely something you need to do. But here's the thing. The thing I want to say to you, and this is what's important today about the balance, is that when you've got a strategy, not to get too consumed by one thing. I spoke to you before about being agile. I spoke to you before about having strategies that are flexible. Because if you get too focused on one strategy, that's when you become rigid. And when you become rigid, it's like having that huge business plan, then you can't move, you can't change. And so this is what I found. This is just my experience. I'm sharing this with you now. Hopefully it helps. If you procrastinate and don't do anything, then you're not going to get anywhere. All right. And at the same time, if you're hustling so much, you're not going to be able to, 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 to take the time that you need to focus. Like there's a sweet spot between procrastination and being busy. And if you can find that sweet spot, if you can find that sweet spot right in the middle of procrastinating and being busy, that's where the magic happens. That's where you're creative. That's where you're in flow. That's where things just happen. So you're not so busy that you're missing things and you're not so lethargic that you're asleep. You're, stuck, you're in the middle and that's the sweet spot. So it's about having the strategies to allow you to take a step back, to be able to have a, an overview and say, okay, where am I? Because in your business, you should not be caught up in the systems fixing things. You should not be like caught up in one process just doing one thing. Like, for example, I was recording a video. After recording the video, I got on a client call. After doing a client call, I had to edit some um, an opt-in. And by the time I'd done the opt-in, I jumped straight into Facebook Live. Like, I'm literally doing one thing to another. I'm busy. But I also know that at 12 o'clock, bang, I'm on my Facebook Live. That's it. And after this... I know I'm going to have some lunch. I know that I've planned some time out to balance, to meditate, to relax, to allow me to allow new thoughts. Because otherwise, if I'm just busy going right from client to this, to that, to the video, how the hell am I going to create new content for you guys? I need to take that time. I need to balance. I need to make sure that I'm busy and I'm not, if that makes sense. I was trying to think of a clever word to go opposite, the opposite of busy. But um, So yeah, I really want you to get that. Like It's important to understand. Stephanie, hello? Yeah, batching files, it is a great strategy. And this is like, I'm, I'm only giving you what works for me. Obviously, take it and, uh, you know, use what doesn't. But look, I can tell you right now that I used to procrastinate and not do anything. And I had all of because here's the other thing with a strategy. I used to sit there and I used to map out my strategies. I used to work everything out. Rebecca, thank you very much. Very grateful for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. It has. It's been absolutely crazy. And it's only because I put the strategies in place. But here's the thing, I've been putting strategies in place for the last year. 
and I've been working out and I've been getting my, my whiteboard marker and writing on my flip chart and I've been like, right, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll take a picture of it and then I'll wipe it off and I'm like, right, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll take a picture of it and I'll wipe it off. This is what, and what I was doing is I was making all these strategies. I was like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And I talk a great game. But what I wasn't doing is I wasn't implementing what I was saying. You know, I had the strategy and I had all of the knowledge, but I didn't have the application. And so if you're sitting there planning the strategies, that's great, but you need to make sure they're being applied. And again, so you need to balance. You need to balance your time between knowledge, as in acquisition of knowledge, and, and, and obviously like the, the processing of the knowledge. Because you'll acquire knowledge from somewhere. Like you'll, you'll hear something, or someone will say something, or you'll learn something. But then what makes that valuable is your spin. It's what you put on that knowledge. There is that you don't want to be someone who just consumes knowledge and then just regurgitates it. That's there's no value in that. I mean, the value comes from the creator, but not from you. I mean, it's nice that you're sharing something, but you you absolutely need to be able to take on board content and take on board value, and then I don't want to say regurgitate. I don't like that word, but you need to put your spin on it. It needs to have your thing. You know, and like you just use peanut butter and jelly. They're two separate things, but when combined, someone creates something amazing. And so it depends on what you're looking at. You know, whether it's chips and ice cream, if you've ever done that before, or peanut butter and egg. You know, there's, there's some crazy things. In fact, let me know a combination of two separate things. Put it in the comments. I'd really like to know because I'm running out of ideas. Two separate things, if you combine them, they're amazing. What, what could they be? Two separate things. If you combine them, they can be amazing. Because if you take knowledge, that's one thing. But then it's your application. It's your, it's your take. It's your perception of that knowledge that makes it unique to you. And that's your value that you're adding. That's where you might do things. Like, there are so many people that build websites. Why am I so special? There are so many people that build websites. And there are so many people that teach you strategy and that teach you all the things that you need to know. What I've done is I've taken the strategy and the website building stuff and I've combined it and my perception is I make it simple. I make it understandable, I make it easy for people to consume, to get. And do you know why I do that? Because I'm not that clever myself. And I have to sort of dumb it down to a level that I get it, so that I understand it. And that it's just that people really appreciate and like that simplicity. And I'm like, wow, actually, do you know what? There's something here that works. So this is my spin. Online mastery, it's, it's not, a, it's, it's about mastery, but the whole premise behind online mastery is that if things are really simple, if you get to a level where you master something, when you're that good at something, you make it seem simple. And it needs to be simple. The whole thing about what you do is the simplicity in it. Plan your website, one of my best investments. Okay, thank you very much. I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm, I'm loving it. Tell me some knowledge that you've got from it. Tell me some things you've got. Miss you writing on your board. Kofi, the board is here. The board is here. I'm literally at the moment trying to find a big, big whiteboard that's going to go in the background. Like I'm going to have a full screen whiteboard that I can write on. Um, I'm, I've got one here, but it's just not on the wall. I, they will be back. I promise you, they'll be back. I'm, I'm getting to that. As soon as we get out of this week, next week, it'll be all back. Because next week, by the way, guys, this week's strategy, next week is all about opt-in sales funnels. We're going to like... Here we go. Let, let me show you this. Right now... I am in the process of writing out some stuff. I've got my six-week course that starts. Look, this is the 1st of March, right? This is one of my strategies. So what I'm doing on the 1st of March is six weeks. So just for, uh, for, for any of you, because I know a couple of you that have joined up are actually a uh, part of this. So this is the six-week process we're going to go through. The first one we're going to go through is the maths. We're going to look at the maths of the business, all the numbers. Um, is your business actually viable? Have you, have you actually got a business? Because... There are so many people out there that have got a product, but they've got no market for it. So the reality is you need to know how, how many of what do you need to sell to live? You know, we talked about this in other videos, I'm not going to go now. Week two, customer avatar, we're going to look at the marketplace. All right, so you've got some value to add, but is anyone actually going to buy it from you? Week three, we're going to look at the value that you're going to add, how you can stack that value, how you can actually solve the problem. Week four and five is all about creating sales funnels, so the systems, content, design, implementation. We're going to cover all of that. And in week six, marketing and monitoring. So that's my six weeks that I'm going to go through. So everyone's going to have unlimited access to me. It'll literally be, they'll have my mobile number. I was looking for my phone and I realized I'm on it. Um, so we'll be able to go through that. Um, but it's going to be awesome. Fish and chips, bangers and mash. There you go, Nadine. Brilliant. So things that go together. Strategy systems. Awesome. Knowledge and ability to implement it. Well, that's it. See, knowledge is potential. Like everyone says knowledge is power. Knowledge is potential power. 
Okay, knowledge without application is worthless. Okay, you need to apply what you learn. It's like it's the, 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 the power is in, is in action, not in a knowledge. It's just you need to know what to apply. You need to know what to take action on. Darcy, beetroot and pineapple juice. It's so amazing. Better than... Does that say sex? And you've started out? Darcy, you either need... Well, either I need to try your beetroot and pineapple juice or you need to... Um, well, let's not go there, right? <laughs> let's have a look what's everyone saying. I'm going to take all your ideas. Take them. Take all my ideas. That's the whole reason I'm doing this is so that you can take my ideas. That's the whole purpose of this. I'm planning my dad's new website for his company, using your book, studying everything in there. I go on about business owners I meet and tell them about your book. Oh, I need to start giving you commission. Thank you, brother. I, 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 hey, um, thank you. Oh, okay, but I just realised it's from you. I didn't see your name. Sorry, I just saw the message. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I look, I, it's, it's beautiful that, like, I love that I do this, and it's really nice that I sit here and work all this stuff out, but that, that right there, that's, that's, that's what I love, knowing that I'm helping people. And so, yeah, today's balance, right? Make sure you're balanced. So um, another thing I'd say, and I've mentioned this before, is having an out, like having a strategy, the only reason you need a strategy is to get you from A to B, okay? But to get from A to B, you need to know where you are. You need to know where A is. If you can't pinpoint A, then how do you know that you're going in the right direction to get to B? Actually, that should be A, that should be B on my screen. It's like flip floating, isn't it? So you need to know where you are. You need to take stock of where you are. Let me share something with you. This was um, it's an epiphany that I actually had this morning. I, as I mentioned in a Facebook post, you would have seen, yet, seen yesterday, I paid out a lot of money yesterday and I paid off a lot of people. And so people come back very gratefully saying thank you. One of the people that, um, that I, I paid off said thank you. And in doing that, I said it's interesting because I was scared Okay, this, this, is, this is a strategy that I applied and I didn't even realise I was applying it. Okay, I was applying this strategy uh, unknowingly, is, is the point I'm trying to make. But it, it was a brilliant strategy and I'm glad I did it. I, um, I was scared. I was really scared because I didn't feel confident and I didn't feel comfortable in sharing my knowledge. And the reason that I didn't feel comfortable and I didn't feel confident in sharing my knowledge was because of my personal situation. Because I was in so much debt, I did not want to be seen as a fraud. I did not want to be seen as one of these people that was telling someone to do it and wasn't doing it myself. It was really, really important for me that I had to have that level, like I had to have that level where do you know what I mean? It's like you, I, I, I totally get it when people go on stage and they say one thing and do another because they're not congruent. Like they don't have that consistency. Like they're doing the best they can. They're just stuck and they're trying to, you know, because it's always easier to tell someone to do something than it is to do it yourself. It's always easier for me to tell people stuff and to tell you what you should do. And then you can go and apply it and be successful. But for a long time, I wasn't doing that for myself. And I had the nice house and I had the beautiful wife and I had all the amazing things. But the reality is I wasn't being congruent. I wasn't being congruent. I wasn't following my own advice. I wasn't taking action. I was planning and planning and planning and planning and I planned everything. I even wrote a book called Plan. I mean, everything was about planning. I was planning everything and I wasn't taking the action. And so what happened is I ended up procrastinating and I got to that point where I wasn't balanced. I'd go from being crazy busy to doing nothing at all. And I'd do nothing during, during the day and then I'd stay up all night like panicking, I hadn't done anything all day, and so I was completely out of balance. Now, here's the funny thing. Because I was so scared of actually um, sharing this, I didn't want to do these midday masteries. I was really, really scared to do them. I didn't want to promote my course. I didn't want to bundle everything together. I was so frightened that people were going to say, you're a fraud, you're in debt, you shouldn't be doing this. And yet, that was my inner voice. That was my internal dialogue that was saying that. The reality is that Everybody around me, everybody, all of my friends, even strangers, people I knew, people I didn't, people that were doing my stuff were like, this needs to be out there, this needs to be out there, you need to charge more, you need to put this out there, this is good, this is good, this is great. And like, even what Cave's saying, like stuff like that, it's like people were like, you need to do this. And so I asked myself the question, how can I do this? How can I promote myself? How can I share and do it in a way that feels ethical, in a way that feels like I've got integrity? 
And so the thing that I was fearful of most was being judged at the time. And so what I did was I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to share everything. Like, I'm not just going to share what I want to share. I'm going to share everything. Like, no social filters. Like, everything. So that's why you know the situation that I've been going through. That's why you know about the debt. That's why you know about the process. That's why you know about my journey. That's why you know about the highs and the lows. Because you've seen it. You've seen me move. You've seen me going through a divorce. You've seen me go through, like, everything. I've been so real. And I, I, I have nothing else to offer. I've given everything. And there's a fear that it could be used against me. And there's a fear that I could be seen in a certain way. There's loads of fears. But do you know what? The amount of messages from people that I'm helping, the amount of messages from people that I'm actually not just helping in business, but on a personal level, guys that don't feel like they've got the confidence to own up to themselves, people that are feeling suicidal, other people that are struggling with financial situations, like people that are inspired because they see me do it and they think they can do it themselves. I'm not just on stage talking about what happened years ago, like I'm actually living this right now and people are seeing it. So the strategy that I actually applied was that I used my weakness. My weakness was my fear of being judged for the, the lack of money or for the challenge of, of not, be, not having that financial um, safety and security. And so in using that, by, by owning it and by saying, do you know what, this is where I am, that actually empowered me. That gave me a bigger drive. Like using that strategy of, of like actually taking my weakness and using it as my strength, that was, that was just so powerful. That was my epiphany that I had. So I adopted a strategy to be able to say, well, if I'm going to share, I'm going to share everything. And it wasn't intentional that that, like, that was what I was going to do. It's just that's what happened. So the, the thing I'm going to say is that no plan will ever survive first contact. It's an army saying that whatever you put out there, it will go wrong. Something will happen. You'll have to change. You'll have to adapt it. Adapt, improvise, and overcome. Right? That's another saying. And... The, the other one on the other side of that is that piss poor performance. No, sorry. Um, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. So you need to prepare. You need to have a plan. You need to have a strategy. Because if you just jump into it, you might get an outcome. But there's no guarantee. That being said, so this is the balance. You need to have a plan. You need to have a plan so that you know what you're doing. But if you plan too much, you'll never take action. So you need a plan. But if you plan too much, you need to find that gap in the middle. Find that sweet spot between procrastinating and being busy. Find that balance. Find that spot. Because at the end of the day, just fucking do it. You'll find your flow. You'll find whatever it is you'll find. You know, you'll make mistakes. You'll, you'll overcome it. You'll do it. So I hope it helps. Like The whole reason I wanted to do this today was obviously so you get that balance. But I don't want to stay too long on here. So any comments or anything, let me know. If you like my videos, if you like what I'm doing, please share it. If this is valuable to you or you think anyone else, please tag them in the comments below. Like I said, I'm doing it for you. I don't need to share my journey. I don't need to share the situations I'm going through, but I'm doing it because I know I'm helping others. So if anything, people can just follow this. That's what I'm hoping, that I can inspire others to sort of, you know, I'm documenting everything now. Um, but rather than hearing about it, as I said, when I'm on stage, you're hearing about it now. All right, so... That's just the way it is. And the one thing, like if I had to say I've got an external strategy, like if I had an outer thing of like a, a, a global vision, if I had like this is the reason I'm doing everything I'm doing, I want to leave the world in a better place than how I found it. All right. So if I can look at the end result, like when I die, I want to know. I want to lay on my deathbed and I want to look back at my life and without regret, I want to say, do you know what? If anything, at least it's a better place. At least I've made someone's life better. At least I made someone laugh. At least I made someone happy. At least I took away the stress that someone had financially. At least I took away the worry that someone had around their website. Like, at least I made my mark. At least I made my dent. Like, that's my strategy. That's my umbrella. That's my big goal. And then there's things underneath it. You know, I've got a strategy for having fun. Trust me, I've got a new strategy for relationships. There's a strategy for everything. Like, but it's just, it's, sometimes you overthink them, sometimes you don't. It's not about, like, you don't need to anally analyse every single detail, like, to the 10th degree. It's like, it's not about that. But it's about saying, look, here are some areas, like, get the wheel of life. Look at that and say, here are some areas of my life. What are some strategies I can put in place to get me from where I am now to where I need to be? And how can I measure the results? 
You need measurable results and you need a strategy to get you from where you are to where you need to be. Hope that helps. So let me just look through the comments really, really quickly. Um, thank you very much, by the way. Thanks for everyone for being on here. I really appreciate your time. I hope it's been useful. I tried to launch last year, but I had problems keeping up with what I wanted. This year, I think I've sorted out that and planned better. Well, that's amazing. And like, as I said, I've seen your content. I've seen what you've got, Rhett. It's, it's phenomenal. Like Your stuff is amazing. Your stuff really, really is. Post a link to your site. Post a link to your site in my comments and then go and watch your analytics. Because I'm guaranteed that like, I have the most amazing people following me. When you post a link, everyone like, and this is a challenge. This is what I've got to be careful. Like, I'm getting a lot of people now who are like, oh, can you post this? Can you promote this? Can you do that? And I'm like, do you know what? I will if I, if I like it. I will if I endorse it and if I value it. But if you're just asking me to send, like, I value you guys far too much to bombard you with shit. That's why you don't get affiliate links from me. That's why I don't promote shit all the time. That's why you don't see that. I do my stuff. But apart from that, like, no, I mean, I'm, I'm really careful what I promote and what I share. But I tell you now, I watch my analytics. I measure it. When I post a link, like, here's, here's an interesting uh, fact, a, a fact about Facebook. If you post a link to something, now, just bear this in mind. And I know I'm going off topic here, so I appreciate that. But if you post a link in Facebook, Facebook does not want you to leave their platform. Okay? Facebook wants you to stay on Facebook. That's the idea of Facebook, is that you stay on Facebook. So if you post a link to your website or to something external, Facebook is gonna penalize you for that because you're leaving Facebook. So there is a way, there's an app called Thunderpenny that if you use, you can actually create a page and you can put your website in a page, in a Facebook page, and send people to that instead. That way they stay on your website, but they're still in Facebook. Better engagement, right? So you always wanna share Facebook links and not external links. Here's the other thing. When I share a link, I watch the analytics. I share a link and I see how many people click on that link. And you would be amazed at how many people click a link but don't like, don't comment. They have no interaction whatsoever. There is an army of people just watching on Facebook. They're like hawks. They're watching everything. They're like, oh, what's everyone typing now? Like the people that like sit behind the curtains just peeking out. Like you don't know they're there, but they're like, oh, what's going on? And there's a load of people like that. And you know what? They actually take action. These are the people that scroll through and go, mm, that's interesting, and they click on it, and then they take action. They're the people that buy. A lot of the people that like and comment, it's great for engagement, it's great for, like, for people, but look, I was once told a really, really interesting fact that people go to Google to make decisions and they go to Facebook to avoid decisions. Most of us are on here because we're trying to avoid the things we need to do. I'm guilty of it, I do it myself. That's why I'm trying to add some value because, like, Facebook's an amazing tool when it's used the right way. Like, if you want to watch, look at pictures of cats, then great. Take some time out, look at pictures of cats. If you want to learn about business, then great. Learn about business. If you want to connect with friends, then great. Connect with friends. It's like, there are so many things you can do on Facebook. People go, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. It's just their model of the world. That's their perception. Fuck them. Like, it's people that have got, like, a problem where they're like... Oh, I'm spending too much time on Facebook, so I need to tell everyone they shouldn't spend so much time on Facebook. Like, no, just get off Facebook. You know, everyone's got their own perception, their own model of the world. But Facebook is an amazing tool. But just be aware. It's not until you measure. It's not until you look at the analytics that you see that engagement happens and you don't necessarily know about it. You don't necessarily know that people are doing things. That's why you need to monitor. And that comes back to the strategy. You need to understand the strategy. You need to have measurable outcomes so that you can see if your strategy is working. Because there is no point in you making a strategy and following it if it doesn't work. That's crazy. Okay, Having a strategy that you can throw away, and there's nothing wrong. I've thrown so many strategies away. There is nothing wrong with wiping the whiteboard clean and starting again. Okay, It's about having it detailed enough that you can stick to it and having it agile enough that you can start again. Balance. Balancing the strategy, finding that middle ground. Darcy, I really have a heart. Absolutely. I've got a huge heart. My heart's massive. I'll do anything for anyone, especially if there's food involved. Um, I'll post soon after. I've learned so much from you. I love you, brother. You're more than welcome. Really, really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much. So my heart's referred to my site as Facebook. Yeah, it's true. Makes a big difference. So I'll be back again tomorrow. I'm off now. Um, have an amazing day. 
Um, don't forget, comment, share below. Um, I'd love to like hear from you. If you've got anything you want me to talk about, I've got another two days of strategy. So if you don't tell me what you want to hear, then I am just going to give you what I think you need or what you think you want. But tell me, tell me what you need to know in terms of strategy. Now, any type of strategy to do with online business, if there's something you want me to focus on for the next two days, now's the time to let me know because I will create the content for it tomorrow. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Please like, share, give me loads of hearts and thumbs up because I'll feel good and obviously it will just help with my engagement and please. But if anyone like needs to know about this, just tag a minute, share a minute. I'd really appreciate that. Robert, thank you. I appreciate you. Kofi, Stephanie, everybody else, Darcy, have an amazing day. I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.